Well, hello there, kids. Welcome to the Dill Learning Channel. It's math time, and you know that I love math. Today, our video is going to touch on how to add three digits using a short method. A short method. That means that I will be creating a video that will show you how to use the extended method, but today we're only focusing on the short method, so it will not be a very long video, okay? So please go ahead. You should already have a pencil and a piece of paper in front of you. Go ahead and write down the three-digit problem that you see on the screen. Okay, great job. Now, after you write down this three-digit problem, please make sure that you also have written the capital H, the capital T, and the capital O where you see them lined up on the screen. Now, what does that represent? That represents our place values. You're not able to truly work out an extended method problem without knowing your place values. So we did do a video on learning how to add with two digits. And we also wrote TO on that video. We learned then that the TO represents tens and ones. So the O represented the ones place and the T represents the tens place. Now when you add a third digit, we now graduate to the hundreds place. Hundreds place. So now what you are seeing is hundreds, tens, and ones. It's very important that you know your place value when you're learning how to add with multiple digits. We have ones, tens, and hundreds place. We know that our first tip to adding multiple digit problems is you begin to the far right with adding and you travel to the far left. Okay, so you begin with the ones place when you are adding with the ones place and you are going to add vertically. How do you add this problem? You will start with the ones place. So let's begin. Three plus four equals, great job, seven. Now we are going to travel to the tens place and we are going to add the tens place vertical straight down. Four plus one equals what? You got it. Now we will travel to the hundreds place and we will add the hundreds place straight down or vertical. Two plus three equals what? Of course, very easy. Five. After you have added from right to left, you should now have your answer, which is now the whole number. Let's read our answer. 557. Let's do that again. 557. Now, a lot of students like to say, or a lot of kids like to say, and when they start reading numbers that have reached the hundreds. So they would say 557. That is incorrect. There is no and. There is no word in numbers. So you would, you would read this as 557. Please do not say 557. It is 557. Okay, this is awesome. Let's just do a recap of how you add three digit numbers and then we will meet up again for another video. First, let's go do the recap. You will begin with the ones. You will add the ones first, three plus four. Then you will travel over and add the tens place, four plus one. And your last visual is that you will add the hundreds place. Two plus three, straight down, okay? And you will get the whole number 557. Last tip, during this level of math, you're in a higher grade level, you should know to write underneath the line, but believe it or not, there are some kids still even at this grade level that are writing their answer next to the um, problems, the second 
row of the math problem. So please make sure you are always writing your answers underneath the line. I am so glad that we were able to join up and beat up again. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us grow and it helps us to help many more kids and be able to create these videos for you for free. So please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website and subscribe and join our membership there as well. Until next time, goodbye.